Hello my friends, today I'm gonna show you my five best tricks that I'm using on Instagram all the time. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thanks for that and let's get started. So this is the direction we are going into, this is the picture we are starting with. The first trick is actually super easy but also very effective and very fast and that is go down here to adjustments and create a gradient map. Delete the point in the middle and set the left side either completely to black or to a 50% uh, gray. You can see here in the middle point down here L says 50 so that means it's on a 50% brightness. I'm going to set it to completely black. Then the opacity you want to set to 75% and you want to set the blend mode to soft light. And you can see already with just this one trick the picture looks a lot more interesting. Now the cool thing is if we select the right side and click here on color you can basically select any kind of color and get some interesting results with that. So play around with that and see what you get. You can see here with orange you get some more warm colors, with blue you get some cooler colors, with green you get some kind of ghostly sickly colors. Depends of course on the picture that you're editing. So um, I want to set it up like this so we have it a little bit cooler with this nice blue ambient light all over the picture. So the next trick I want to show you is to use a gradient but in two different layers. So let me show you how and why I do that. First of all, let's use the rectangle tool, click and drag out a rectangle over all of the picture. The reason why I'm doing that is because then I can always go back and change the gradient. So we can use the gradient tool to draw a gradient over our picture and before I set the colors of the gradient I want to set up the blend mode so we see what is actually happening. So go over here to the blend mode of the layer and set it again to soft light. Good. With that set up we can go back to our fill up here and set up our gradient. So like before you click on these points and you select any kind of color you want to have or if you have already prepared gradients. For example, if you search my channel for free, the word free, you can find several gradient packs um, or if you own one, uh, you can select gradients from there and you can see you get with one click, you can get some pretty interesting different results. I want to uh, use one that's called Nightshine, looks like this and I think this looks pretty good. So. Where is the second layer that I spoke about? Well, we're gonna right click on our rectangle with the gradient in that and we're gonna select duplicate. And now we're gonna change our blend mode to screen. And you can see that this creates a nice shine of light in our picture. So really interesting atmosphere, but it's a bit too much. So what I want to do is to go into the blend ranges and use the left square here. Let me explain a little bit how these squares work. On the left side of the square we have the dark values, on the right side of the square we have the bright values. So when you drag this down all of the dark values are getting transparent so you don't see them anymore, they don't affect the layer anymore. So I want to set it up, you can play around with that until you find something you like. Um, I will set it up like this. And you can see now that we have only the pink light coming from the left side. So if I turn this on and off, you can see we have a very interesting look in the picture now with this light coming from the left. Okay, this looks pretty cool, but we need a little bit of grit. So an easy way I found to create a little bit of artistic grit in your picture is to use the live filter half tone. Looks like this not very good so we have to set it up a little bit. So what I want to do here is again set it to soft light and set the opacity to 50% like this. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is 
You can of course use any kind of screen type you want. I like the line version so it creates lines over the picture. Let's reduce that in size uh, for example like that and reduce the contrast so it mixes better with the picture like this for example and you can see now that we have a little bit of grit in our picture. Uh, let's zoom in here a little bit. You can see here we have these lines and this really makes the picture look different and give it a bit more artistic expression. So I really like this kind of trick to use it with the picture. Let's turn it on and off. You can see the picture looks uh, interesting. By the way, one thing that I forgot is you can set the angle. In this kind of picture, I want to set it to 45%. Kind of this kind of vintage classic passport image look where you had the foil pressed over the picture and I think it also had this kind of stripe so it kind of looks interesting. The fourth trick that I want to show you is to add an abstract unplanned artistic element to the picture. So the way you can do that is just go here to the stock tab. If you don't have the stock tab by the way you go to view and then to studio and make a check mark next to stock. You can enter any kind of word. You can also just enter the word abstract and you find some very interesting abstract pictures. For example, this one. So let's drag this over here. You can see we have some crazy squiggly lines of light. Um, to mix it with our picture, what we can do is go back to our layers and simply set this to screen. This will remove all of the black parts and just leave the nice um, light lines left. So you can see we can move this over our picture, create a interesting unplanned element in our image. And of course you can set it up wherever you want. So I can rotate this to the other side, move this over here. So maybe it comes from the left side where we also have the shine of light that you can use. If you want to have an additional artistic element and this is the fifth trick that I use all the time and it's super handy. Remember if you do this the layer you're applying it to is going to be rasterized so you can't move it around like that afterwards. Maybe duplicate it so right click duplicate hide one of them so click on the check mark so it's gone so you only see one more of these layers and then go here to filters distort and mirror and with mirror as you can see you can in seconds create some really interesting cool effects over your picture that can spice up for example this this is something completely unplanned but by just moving around all of these settings you can come up with some really interesting uh, outcomes in your picture whoops Let's go like this or for example like that. So you can get some really crazy things going in here like this for example. And also you can click in the picture and set the center point for your mirror effect wherever you want. For example around the eye, around the left eye. So you can do some really interesting crazy things here. Again let's readjust the uh, input level like this and you can see we can do some crazy stuff here if we want to. So that's a very nice trick. Let's see. What do we have before? That was a very nice one. This one. Okay, cool. It's very small but it's very nice too. So we can leave it like that and you can see these are very quick trick to spice up your pictures and create an interesting artistic look. Thank you very much for watching the video. Like it if you want to and leave a comment of what you want to see in the future. Thank you very much and see you in the next episode. Bye.